been frozen out. Facing an extinction level event. We don't fight this fight right now. You're not going to have black on you. Um, money, money, money. Um, we see how the economy uh, is uh, is going. Uh, again, I think what has to happen here is we have to keep being aggressive. Michael, it's amazing right. how, how many people. I'm telling, it's it's truly amazing to me how many black folks, um, and we've dealt with this. How many black folks uh, in, in the last week uh, who they've they've seen what we've been doing with Bart Allen and my boy Todd Brown uh, and mm -hmm. others going for GM? Folks like you know what you you know man you, you know y'all getting real aggressive, and I'm and, and I keep saying, <laughs> and, I, and I literally keep saying, please show me an example of black mm -hmm. people getting something just because. P please show me an example where we got something because it was right, as opposed to we had to sit here and call folk out, yell, cuss, scream, holler, threaten to get it. Show me. Well, you, you, you know, um, Roland, closed mouths don't get fed. And this is what we have to understand. We, there's a long history of African Americans putting pressure on corporate America, whether we go back to 1981 and uh, Rainbow pushing Reverend Jesse Jackson with the nationwide economic boycott against Coca-Cola, whether we talk about the um, 1960 down, uh, uh, economic boycott of the downtown business district in Nashville, Tennessee during, during Easter to break the back of segregation in Nashville, Tennessee, and those economic boycotts spread to 59 cities across the country. African Americans up north who could go to Woolworths and Kresge were in solidarity with their brothers and sisters down in Nashville. They were boycotting the same stores as well. You know, so the, uh, there's a there's a history of putting pressure on corporate America. The problem is we don't understand our history. Okay, so what you what you all are doing, you and Byron Allen and others. I, I read the article. Fox Two News here in Detroit uh, is covering that story. This this deals with renegotiating our relationship with corporate America. This is something I've been talking about for years. This is something I learned directly from one of my teachers, Dr. Claude Anderson. He said, we have to go to these corporations and renegotiate our relationship with them so that the money is not flowing from just from our pockets to their bottom line or buying products from them. But we get a larger share when it comes to advertising for, with African-American agencies uh, ad agencies, when it comes to advertising on African American uh, uh, news media, things like this, because all this creates jobs. There, there are billions of dollars of contracts. And I, I used to um, manage a janitorial service company here in Detroit. We didn't just have government contracts, we had a contract with a, a, a charter school, and we bid on a contract with a corporation. So I, I have a you know better understanding of this. And we don't understand all the money that we lose that we leave on the table, okay? Mm. That we're we're spending bi uh, billions of dollars a year, hundreds of billions of dollars a year with these corporations, and they're largely giving contracts to white-owned businesses so that they can go hire more people. You know, so we really don't understand how all these pieces are connected. But uh, more power to you, brother. This is exactly what we need to do. We need to leverage our economics to enforce our political and economic agendas. Uh, absolutely. All right, folks, back to our Roland Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends, go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it, please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.